Hello everybody, I am Brad Whitaker. I am the district sales manager for the Kennedy and m and Valve Company. Uh, I'm starting my 16th year. Before we get too far into it, let me say a little bit about the manufacturer here. Uh, we are based in Elmira, New York. We are a division of the McWain Company. Uh, the McWain Company, uh, some time ago when they got into the valve and hydrant business, bought three different valve and hydrant companies. Each valve and hydrant company had their own check valve, their own butterfly valve, their own plug valve. Uh, and so we were making three of something that really didn't have a national audience, for lack of a better term. So what you do is you standardize on one design and you triple market for all three companies. So while the literature here says Kennedy swing check valve on the very top of it, when you look at the cover, it'll also say Clow Valve Company and m and Valve Company. I chose the Kennedy literature. I could have chosen any one of them because Kennedy is actually the manufacturer of choice uh, and the one I'm most comfortable with. Uh, before we start, be, and start, because I am on film, I will misspeak and I know that in the next 15 minutes. I don't know where it is. I just know it's not intentional. Uh, if this, something doesn't sound right, please tackle me and I'll try to correct it or I'll find the right information. We're talking about check valves here and I do talk with my hands a little bit. A check valve is a very simple valve. It's designed to, to stop flow going the opposite way. There is an arrow on it, and assuming the contractor put it in correctly, the flow is gonna go one way, the disc is on the top, it'll come back down when there's an absence of flow. If you wish to make that disc close more quickly or more completely, you can do one of two things, and I think you have both of these types of valves. One is to put a lever in weight on it. You put a, uh, a cast iron arm or steel arm, excuse me, with a weight on the end, and that weight will close, cause the disc to close more quickly. If it's not closing as quickly as you would like, you can get a heavier weight. You can put a second weight on it, or the first thing you should do is to move that weight further down the arm and use the, uh, the properties of leverage in order to get it to close. The other way you can uh, force the, make the valve close more completely and quickly is to put a spring on it, which is, I believe, the lion's share of what you have. That lever is connected to a spring, which is held onto a bracket on the valve, so when the valve, there's nothing going through its natural position, is in the closed position. We will sell you a bracket that you can attach to the body there. You can attach the spring to one of the holes in the arm, create the tension, set it, and forget it. You'll notice on the cover here, we've got some test pressures on the, on the check valves here. We're talking primarily the 2 through 12. Uh, we have a 400 pound shell test. We will flange up both sides and test the, the casting itself to make sure there are no uh, holes or the gaskets are all in place. There is also a test pressure with the valve closed. Now something about that, we're testing to 200 pounds closed. That is not a bubble tight test. When I say bubble tight, do you know what I'm talking about? Bubble tight means zero leakage. This valve is not zero tight. I believe that the leakage on this is one ounce per inch per hour per day. So there's an allowable leakage on it, which means if you're working and you're counting on the check valve to hold all the fluids back on the other side and it's dribbling past there, that valve could be functioning just perfectly and within specifications. One of the reasons it does uh, have an allowable leakage is when it first was introduced into the marketplace it is bronze on bronze. If you were to go to the third page, if you will, and look in the lower left-hand corner, you will see a uh, disc arrangement. Uh, it is a cast iron disc with a bronze edge, if you will, all around the uh, circumference, which will swing down into a body ring, which is also bronze. Bronze to bronze is non-corrosive, and if you've got a lot of pressure pushing back on the disc, it will make it relatively tight but there, might, there may always be some leakage there. It's not rubber to cast or rubber to bronze. Um, additionally, you are pumping gray water with a lot of grit, from what I understand from this morning class. Uh, while it will hold it back, one of the things that grit does over bronze is it will score it or scar it, if you will, for lack of a better term. Um, when the valve is leaking, un when there is enough bypass, it's leaking in an unsatisfactory manner. There's a procedure in the back here described where you get down and you will sandpaper down the bronze right, and smooth it out, get some of the scores out of there. You're going to want to have some rubber gloves on 
while you do all this and you want to have the pressure isolated so you're working on so the water's not excuse me the sludge is not gushing up out of there so it's isolated you get in there but you're going to want to be able to score it down through uh, you will look on the exploded parts here you'll notice that the disc swings on a stainless steel hinge pin stainless steel should not corrode I, I had heard this morning that your sludge is of biblical proportion so maybe it'll do some harm to it uh, that I'm not used to. Uh, next page, Kennedy check valves. This is kind of a, a, dis, a disclaimer, if you will. Uh, once in a while you will get a check valve that slams shut or that shatters, uh, that chatters. Uh, if your check valve isn't doing it now, it probably won't in the lifespan of the check valve. However, if you ever come across a check valve that is slamming shut, or is quivering or is making a lot of funny noises, you want to check something besides the check valve. It's probably not the valve. It's either valve placement or it's valve sizing. Um, it's beyond the, the scope of the American Water Works standard to account for all that stuff. If you go to the next, thing, uh, next page, we are dealing with 106 check valves. The newer version on the cover is called the 1106. That's just an inside baseball. Uh, designation as much as anything. Uh, for servicing the check valve, it's really there's not much for you to do, guys. If you need to back flush the valve for whatever reasons, you grab the arm and you push it up. When the arm is up, you're forcing it up, and that'll allow the pressure to get by the disc. When the arm is lying down, the valve is closed, so you can open and close it that way. Where are you going to see problems on the check valve? One, with the scarring we talked about on the bronze ring before. Uh, the other way, uh, the other piece, if you go back to, um, uh, if you look where it says 17A, 18A there, uh, right next to the casting, there's a little hole. This is on page title 15-3, right along the big cast iron there. There's a little plug. The plug goes around the shaft and is screwed into the casting there. It may leak at some point in the future. I will tell you, I'm starting to see some of this on, on valves from the 1970s. So I'm guessing 35, 40 years. But again, you've got super sludge here, so maybe it's going to do a number on it ahead of time. I'll still be here. You'll still be here. Uh, if it does start to leak, the first thing I'd like you to do, you will notice there's a, uh, a packing nut there. Try to snug that up, see if it closes it down. Ultimately, ultimately if that does not work, uh, you may have to isolate the valve again, pull out the plug, put in some new packing. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't owe you anything. Uh, there's a section in there about how you handle a check valve. You have to, have to do it, uh, handle it again. We don't want fork, forks going through the waterway on the check valves. Uh, some of this is extreme common sense. We are not trying to uh, move ice through uh, our check valve. It's for fluids. If it does freeze solid, you may have a problem. Uh, cast iron will freeze if it's you know, stagnant water in small enough diameters. Uh, and other than that, in about seven minutes or less, that is a check valve. I am here uh, for as long as you'd like if you have other questions here. This is not a valve I think you're going to have to touch ever again. Oh, uh, last page, there are some recommended spare parts. I will tell you exactly what I told in the morning session here. Where you can have a gasket or an O-ring or any of that material, we are in Elmira, New York. Uh, you can, if you order it today, you will probably lose it before you use it. That's my, imp my impression. If you were to order it from Elmira and they were to put it on a slow boat, it would be here in three days. All right, you can order it at that time or you can bring it into your inventory, whatever you deem best. But those are some recommended uh, spare parts there. And the last page is about si uh, sizing of check valves, which is really not you. Okay, I, I don't I'm not sure, I'm not sure about we should get a lot of spare parts. <clears throat> Questions, comments, suggestions? Now, what's the size of the ones you, uh, you installed here? You know? I, I know there's some 10 inch ones because those are the ones I saw down by the 10 inch OS and Ys. I can't tell you about the other ones. I, I don't. believe there's a 14 inch. Okay. And I think there's some sixes. Okay. 
Uh, FYI, this is an American-made product. We pour our own iron in Elmira, New York. It is bolted together in Elmira, New York. Uh, when things are blowing and going, we employ about 475, 480 people. We are a union shop. Uh, right now, with the times being what they are, we're down around probably 275 people, which is, which is too bad. They're good jobs. So uh, this information, if you lose this, uh, it is available on the internet kennedyvalve.com or mhvalve.com or clowvalve.com. There will also be a picture of hopefully me because that means I still have a job if you ever need it. However, if I am fired, there will be a picture of somebody else with their phone number up there if you need to call them. All right, uh, and the New England rep will be in New England and can probably get here in a day or so. If there's nothing else, I'm going to consider my part of the program to be over. Or if something comes to you later, go ahead. Al, do you want to take my... Oh, sure. Yeah, I'd like to add is that uh, if you're also looking for information, there is a uh, O&M manual, uh, section 15100, that has information on both the check valves and the gate valves that are being uh, presented on today. So that, that information is in, in the manual, which is uh, being provided to you as well. 